Thanks for checking out WLXOnline.com. I'm Ben Lone at the annual Gobbler's Gala in downtown Pulaski, where we've been given a beautiful day and a ton of folks are out and about enjoying the sights, sales, smells, and tastes of Giles County, Tennessee. But one unique part of this year's festival belongs to Miss Jerry Webb. Jerry has uh, converted a GMC Sonoma to an electric vehicle. Now, uh, earlier we talked about on the website where you're watching this, the uh, uh, new electronic vehicle dealership that's moving into Lawrenceburg. Jerry, you have uh, taken the initiative and you've actually done this out of your garage. Yes, I have. All right, now what went into uh, this project? What were your inspirations as to why you wanted to take this vehicle and make it electric? The co cost of gas two years ago, and I, I built this a year ago now, but we checked on other electric vehicles, and the top speed on those was only 39 miles an hour. And we wanted to be able to go to Lawrenceburg uh, at highway speeds. So my wife and I started investigating, and we found EV America out of Westboro, New Hampshire, had come up with a complete kit to, to refit a vehicle to totally electric. So through their help and their knowledge, I ordered the kit through them, and they had instructions on how to put everything together. Well, all right, let's take a look inside the hood here. Okay. Kind of go over what big changes. Obviously, you have this piece of equipment here. What changes did you make to make this vehicle run on electricity? Okay, I had to pull the motor and transmission out. I sent the clutch kit into them, or the clutch disc, and they sent me back the whole thing to put the motor and clutch to the manual transmission, and they sent me all the controllers with all the wiring and how, how to do it. Uh, the, they showed how to make the door to put it on. Where to place the batteries. Of course, they had to know how many rolls I was going to be running. They told me basically what I was going to need, and, and that's what I did. All right, uh, now. Total. Mm. Old you, manual. You did this out of your garage? Yes, I did. Yes. All right. Now, looking back to the back, you have this, the bed lifted up. Why so on that? It looks cool, but I know there's a reason behind that. <laughs> so I, I could get to my store, my batteries. Okay. Uh, in the Sonoma, or in the pickup, they, this is where they recommend you put the batteries, and with the bed down there, you could not get to them. So they, you come, they, they sell you the lift kit, so you can the lift kit the hinges and everything to make it so it's accessible to uh, get to your batteries. How long did this project take? Total involvement was probably about two months and part of that time I was waiting for equipment to come in, waiting for my, and I had a professional welded my, my braces for my batteries. I had, I, I had to wait for him. Uh, well, I say about, about two months. You're looking at Shipping this vehicle off to somebody who uh, to a good home. Per yes, se. yes. Did you want to do more of this stuff? I think you found it fun, didn't you? Yes, I did. And right now, I want to do a Dakota Dodge Dakota extended cab because a little bit more room and the weight might be the only problem. But that would be my next project: Dodge Dakota extended cab. But I want to sell this so I can start something else. All right. Cool. <laughs> um, this is uh, part of a grand initiative that I think a lot of Americans are taking to uh, become more energy efficient, but also, and we talked about this a few moments ago, we've got a tax break off of it. Yes. I get 10% of my total cost of doing it. Uh, That's not bad. No. no uh, ten, uh, like I say, a 10% 10, 10 tax break. Or tax credit. You'll send me a check. Well, all right. At the Gobbler Scala, I'm Ben Luna, where it's more than turkeys this year, but electric vehicles in downtown Pulaski. Thanks for looking.